A solid wall. Something firm to sit on. Something solid to surround ourselves with. Something firm to put our thoughts on. Do you have a foundation in your thinking where you can go when so much of the surround that's happening to you or in the world makes you want to run but you don't know where to go? Who doesn't want to run when you feel attacked verbally, mentally, under your own roof? Who doesn't want to escape when you feel threatened by systems or behaviors? that you don't feel capable of reckoning. It can feel like there's nowhere to go for that assured wall of safety to <clears throat> envelop us so. <clears throat> but from my heart to yours, time and again, as I have anchored my thought, it's given me something to lean on when it appears that's all I've got. So how do you anchor your thinking? And how do you find it when that solid seems gone? And where do you go in your thinking when all that's going on <clears throat> feels so wrong? I was probably eight maybe even younger, when I learned a little phrase, three words, God is love. And I remember as I was little going, God is love? I don't get it, because love's what my parents share. And love's what in love people do. Love is what people do. Love is what people do, isn't it? Isn't love what you do? Took me a lot of years to think it all through. But that little phrase became an anchor in my thought. And still to this day is what I turn to when everything <laughs> feels like it's going wrong. This isn't a pitch, this isn't a program. This is me showing up. It's already April and I've been hardly videoing. There's a lot that's been going on that has made me wanna run. There's a lot that's been going on that with my deepest goals sometimes want to give up. I haven't. I've hunkered down. And I've worked it out. Thought by thought. Little by little. Day by day. The big hard. It's really not. If you can fathom with me for just a little bit 
that the stuff you think is such a mess is actually just one perspective. If you can fathom with me for just a sec that all that's bad to you is a collection of or simply a group of beliefs. Beliefs can be sorted through. Perspectives can change. Thought pauses can occur. When you can invite another view in, Healing happens when thoughts shift. Lives change in just a single moment. You don't have to have deep faith to grasp. There's probably more to this experience than what we see. And time and again, when I refuse to get stuck assessing on the surface. Time and again, when I go to that anchor in thought and stay there, it's gonna be a weak metaphor, but it absolutely lets me ride through the storm of stuff, of news, of life, of a building, of relationships, of chaos, of all that feels like it's exploding. Wherever this finds you, whatever is gripping at your heart, ponder the possibility that right now, right this moment, you can get hope from a different perspective, from a different view, from the possibility of leaning on love as something to be, not only something people do. This spontaneous poem, it's kind of you know, just poured out of my heart tonight. There's so much I'm praying about and I just wanted to thought by thought, heart to heart connect. I always feel like I want to give you the details. I always feel like I want to show you all the particulars. There's a lot of healing going on in this sweet building of mine. A couple months ago, stuff was happening that just was not fine. Um, when I took action, as any citizen would, but even when it seems like there's no help in the practical ways, I turned to thought. And developments are happening, and rethinking where I need to be is happening and um, kindnesses are being shared. There's not so much anger in my thinking. Um, hmm. It takes love to look at someone who seems to be the cause of the chaos and see beyond their behavior to their true substance. It takes love to forgive yourself for reacting in the first place. And it takes love to listen for what are the next steps. And I don't mean love like huggy touchy feely kind. 
I mean, love that is that anchor, time after time. Okay. My heart's yours, wherever this finds you. If you need something solid to cling to, if you need mm, something tangible to feel like you can lean on, I promise you it's always got to begin in thought. If you need a boost, if you need a hug, I'm right here and I'll listen for hours. Help you hear what's helped me. Big hugs. Love you from trees.